All right, guys, I'm out here in my backyard in the, I believe this is the third video on the basic bush crafting series from Yellowhawk Custom Kydex. Uh, I'm hoping Jason will actually post some of these videos eventually. Uh, hear that? Because <laughs> I haven't seen any yet. So... Here we got a basic shelter. This is a 7x9 sill nylon tarp made by Equinox. Uh, real basic. You can pick one up for about 80 bucks. Um, I particularly don't really like those cotton duck, those waxed cotton tarps. They're like way too heavy. If you're doing any kind of trekking any kind of mileage that thing is really going to be a burden on your back okay now having said that I would advocate that in some type of base camp situation but for on the go stuff you know backpacking slash bushcrafting trips and whatnot I really prefer sill nylon it's light and it's strong yeah you will put holes in it if you get if you get embers from the fire on it but uh, you just be careful and you'll be okay. Um, again, it, it, I tell you, if you have it long enough, it'll probably happen. You'll probably put a hole in it somewhere. But they are easy to patch. They sell uh, this, uh, this stuff called Silnet. It's like a liquid uh, polyurethane glue that you fix them with. And uh, it's real easy to uh, to apply. It dries pretty quick. Within a few hours, uh, it'll dry to the touch, and you'll be able to use your tarp then. Uh, any ember you get on this shouldn't put a too big a hole. Out. I, I tell you, I've had this one for a couple of years, and I have yet to put a hole in it. Okay, and I'm I'm out here all the time. Okay. Um, right now, I happen to be out in my backyard in southern Pennsylvania. Uh, I have a lot of sheaths to do this weekend, so I figured I'd come out here and just spend the night outside. Um, so here's what we got. This is just a basic modified lean-to. I have it going lengthwise. You can also do it widthwise. You can, I just wanted to kind of set it up in a certain way just to give you an idea of how to set these things up. Now, this is how you do it when you don't have any trees around, okay? And you see what I did here. I took some, some, uh, you know, dried cut saplings, just hammered them into the ground. You got to make sure they're pretty thick to get them into the ground. Hammered them in with the hammer pole of my axe. Okay, here's my axe over there. I used my trekking poles to give it a little more height in the back in case it starts raining so it does run off. This is some just some extra wood I had from a chair uh, in my wood pile just to get that back end up a little bit. And the back end, okay, which is actually toward the wind, is basically staked right to the ground with some uh, aluminum backpacking stakes. Okay. Now what actually gives this its rigidity is these two support poles in the front with her they're actually hammered into the ground however you don't have to do it that way I hammer them in and then sometimes I'll put guy lines on them stretching out this way okay but these are pretty taut pretty well secured so I'm, I may throw a guy line or two on each one but it really doesn't need it this rope here in the front in case it starts to really pour down rain I can get this thing and get that shelter down a little bit to uh, keep any driving rain. It, just in case the wind shifts, I don't think it will. The wind is coming from that way. Okay, so I'm buffeted pretty good in this shelter. The sleeping bag is a Marmot Col C O L uh, membrane bag very warm it's this is actually a minus 40 degree bag which just goes to show you I spend a lot of time in cold weather and I just 
Throw it in there on top of uh, a couple of baby blue tarps. These are actually back table covers for uh, for surgery. Uh, my buddy Bob Bieschke, he uh, works in the emergency room as a, a first assist, kind of like a critical care nurse. And he, uh, he can get these back table covers, and they work great for ground cloths. I don't pay anything for them. And they're, they're pretty super strong and very lightweight. It's kind of like Tyvek. Okay. So there you have it. Just a basic modified lean-to. Now I have taken all the critical junctures, all the stress points of this tarp, this sill nylon tarp, and I put sill net on all of the stress points where the grommets are. Sill net. That strengthens it up real good and uh, you know keeps it nice and strong and keeps it waterproof. I did all the seams all the way down. So that stuff works real good. I have yet to use these tie loops on this thing. I'm, I'm sure they work pretty good. I just have never used them. I could actually set something up to actually run a guy line across and get this up a little bit more, but really there's no need. <clears throat> this thing will shed rain like the best of them. I guarantee it. I've set it up like this many times. <laughs> In torrential downpours and it, it, it'll keep you pretty dry all right a little bush crafting area my fire pit this is my uh, bush crafting kit these are actually uh, ribs pack R-I-B-Z you can just google it check them out they work real good for survival uh, or bush crafting you know kit outfit uh, okay, I'm going to do uh, some camp chores. I'm not going to bore you with that kind of stuff. And then uh, we'll be back later and I'll show you some more. This is Doug Wilson for Yellow Hawk Custom Kydex. Thanks.